So whoever bought this car clearly didn't want a hot ass. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, Melbourne is back in lockdown. We have a six week lockdown this time. A lot of businesses, including mine, have had to close. Um, so I thought to make the most of this time, I have ordered a bunch of parts coming from all parts of the world for this car um, to mod it. Got a lot of stuff coming in, really excited for it. But what I want to start with is heated seats. So whoever bought this car clearly didn't want a hot ass because they did not option the car with heated seats. Um, now when we put the aftermarket heated seats in, we don't get to use the OEM panel. So normally the heated seats go in there on the climate control. I could definitely order the new climate control with the heated seats in there, but it's not as simple as just a switch to control the panels. Um, we potentially have to change the body control module. Uh, there's a lot that goes into factory heated seats. So we're just gonna stick to aftermarket. <laughs> Okay, so before we start, first thing we need to take note of is where the fuse box is. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, it's on the left-hand side behind this panel. That's where we're going to get our powers from. Secondly, the seats are both electric, so we need to get them roughly in the area that we want them after unbolting them. So, unbolt the seats, get them where you want them, and then we're going to remove the negative terminal from the battery because you will get an airbag code if you unplug these seats. And don't do that. Um, if you don't do that, you'll need VCDS to clear the code, so... Whatever you want. Definitely going to take advantage from having the seats out to clean all of that. Okay, so this is the front of the seat. Now there's four bolts holding the seat in, two at the front, so one on either side, and two at the back. And they've all got these cute little clips on them, so this little part comes off first. Like so. And then out. And then what that's going to leave you with is, um, it's a sort of a unique bolt in these cars. And that's what it looks like right there. So what we'll do is pop the other side off and then we can loosen both of these bolts. Okay, now the seat is completely unbolted. Um, there's these plastic little covers here. It's a good idea to remove those as well. And just be careful because they're very brittle. So that you want to release left and right side and then straight back. So now once we've got the seat out of the car, those plastic things aren't going to be hitting anything. And one of the last things you need to do is remove this. So on either side, there's a little, there's one. All right, and then the other side, and then it will release. Okay, so that's out of the way now, the clip. And then all you need to do is pull that out of the way and slide, and that's it. That's the seat belt. Um, and then we can remove the negative terminal from the battery. Okay, so once the seat is up and out, and we've done the battery, the negative terminal we can pop this open unclip both of these here and then you can unplug one two three plugs and remove that whole wiring loom for the seat all right so seat is removed now for my car i didn't need to re normally we'll remove these panels which i might have to anyway for the wiring um put a bumper cover down or something like that to protect that panel tape the doors up um but because it's my car you know, i'm pretty confident with this so I'm, I'm, I'm happy to just do it like this if i scratch it it's my problem um and yeah let's clean up all this nasty garbage Would you look at that? Much better. Okay, um, I'm gonna mimic this on the driver's side, and then I've got to work out where we're gonna work on the seats because I've got no workshop, no anything. I'm just gotta DIY this on the driveway. All right, ready for action. Now we're probably gonna take these inside because knowing my luck, it looks beautiful there. Not so beautiful there, so it's probably gonna rain. Now, these seats are good from far, but close up, they do need a bit of love. So I've purchased this leather love from Bowden's Own, so that's gonna clean the seats, and I've also bought the rejuvenator, so 
we'll see how much that fixes it up but to be honest I'm not too happy with all this sort of stuff going on here so I might actually end up just sending them to a um, leather place to get them redone all right guys so I've brought the seat inside um, and I put it on this piece of cardboard so we can protect the floorboards and protect the seat now here is our kit don't ask me why there are scissors in there anyway here is our kit so we've got the heat elements uh, wiring and switch so that is for this seat here so what I'm going to start doing now is trying to work out how to this part will be easy um, the bucket seat area there will be probably more difficult but for this here we can start working out how to remove this uh, remove this stuff here and then start peeling back the leather from the foam Okay, so this part of the mat is done. As you can see, it's very loose. So if we pop this up, you can see, here we go. This metal rod here. No, so this metal rod right here ties in, goes inside here, and it's clipped to another metal rod that runs along inside here with those uh, hug ring ties. And this side's just clipped. So what we can do now is lay our heated seat mat. Okay. So, we've got the bolsters back together, this is back on, and we've laid the mat, put all those hog ring ties back on. So now we can start looking at maybe, before I assemble all this, I'm going to do the back of the seat first. What I'm going to do on this side, on the backing, is I'm going to cut the element out to go in this part here. So it'll cover all here, here and here, and not worry about this because there's an airbag here and I can't get that up much more than it already is. And I can't be arsed with all these hog rings again. All right, now we're getting somewhere. So that's heating element and leather back on on this seat. So looks just as good as before. Um, now what I've done with the elements, as I said before, is just gone up here. Um, one, couldn't be stuck with these hog ties to, it's only my car, so I don't mind having just this part. If the customer, if it was a customer and they wanted here, I'd spend the extra time to do it. But, Whatever, my car, I'm happy with that, and I'm happy with that. So, I'll finish putting this together, and I'll do the other seat. This took way too long, so I'm not going to record the driver's seat. And then we'll check back once we are ready to install. Alright, that's seat number one dusted. So I'll catch you when the next one's done. Alright guys, that is the second seat dusted. Okay, so it's dark outside, um, but we've got both of the seats done. So tomorrow we can go ahead and put them in and finish the wiring. Um, the first seat took a while and the second seat didn't take as long because uh, it was mainly figuring out how the seat wants to come apart and then laying the mats, you know, sort of in a seat shaped like that. Um, was a bit of a pain, but we got there. So, I'll catch you in the morning. 
Alright guys, welcome back. So, we have the seats completed. They were pretty difficult, but they weren't too bad. And all we have to do now is the wiring. So in here we have some wiring, so we'll go through uh, exactly what we have in there and how that is done. Run that to our seats, um, and then we can put the seats back in and test it. Oh yeah, and we are yet to clean them, so they still need to be cleaned. Okay, so in our kit we have two wiring harnesses and they have a switch each. So basically what we have to do is connect this to the fuse box. This is a little relay, so the switch flicks the relay, which sends it power to, sends power to each heated mat. Um, and then, yeah, so these get connected together here at the fuse box, and then we run one set of plugs to passenger side and one set of plugs over to the driver's side. Okay, so on the passenger side next to the glove box, this little panel pops off. And then this is the fuse box. So this is our ignition side here. And this is a constant and this is a CAN bus junction for anyone that wants to know. So relay is mounted underneath. Um, there's a vent here, I've got it underneath that. Uh, we have switch. That gets mounted on the seat, obviously. And then we've got these two plugs here. Now they go to each one of each heating element. And then all that's left is two wires that bridge off. Now I've taped them up. And we're gonna put power to the fuse box, um, ignition fuse box, obviously with a fuse. And ground, there's a factory ground point right here. And so what I will do when I do these two is tap on another two wires and then run them over to the driver's side so that whole section can be done over there okay a bit of a recap on the wiring so this is our new fuse tap in one of the ignition fuses uh, we've got 20 amps so 10 amp for each seat and then that runs down behind this panel down with the factory wiring if you can see here and then to the ground point so as you can see we've added a um, ground in the factory ground position and then we've got two new wires coming off so i just tapped on another black and red wire that I have that's going to get run over to the driver's side so we can pretty much mimic what we've well mimic what we've done here and then just tap on those two power wires to these and so this is our power is all done Okay, here are the powers on the driver's side. So there's the two heating element um, plugs. It's a plug for the switch. And then as you would have seen, I just run the wiring down here, um, met it with the other two wires that I had brought across from the passenger side, put some plugs on them, take them up, put them away underneath this panel under the carpet. So I've also removed the switches from the kits. And now we're gonna look at where we want to mount them on the seats. All right, that is the switches done. So I'm happy with that position. Sort of sitting in the driver's seat, passenger seat, and within good reach of the other controls. So I guess now I'll clean up the seats first and then we'll put them in the car, plug them in and test them. Alright guys, that is one side on, the other side is on, I already checked it, I just started the car, um, so I'm going to let these warm up and then see how hot they get. Guys, welcome me to the Heated Seats Club. The job is done. Um, if you couldn't tell from the videos, the heated laying the heated seat mats on these seats particularly wasn't the easiest thing in the world, so yeah, it's a, it's a pretty hard install for these seats. We do cars, we do other cars. Um, a lot of the time and they're not bucket seats like this and they're much easier so these seats suck and um, I'll say that 
my back is burning right now today is the worst day to put heated seats in the car because it's such a nice day it's probably the nicest day we've had in a couple of weeks sun's out it's warm so i'm gonna enjoy my heated seats because i spent so long yesterday doing them and this is what you get so we've got heating all through here here and all through here which i can feel right now with my hand it's extremely hot um here it's all warm i can feel it all up here and all up here and so where i'm sitting right now it's perfect like my ass is warm lower back is warm toward the top and then i don't i'm not one of these people who sit like that the whole time so i'm not worried about my upper back too much yeah it's good um if you have any questions regarding the install drop them in the comments anything else drop them in the comments thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next one